Greetings, everyone. It's Woo's the Collector here. Well, why do I say everyone? Well, I mean my fellow geeks, fanboys, movie fanatics. It's episode 101 of the Collector's Geeks and Freak Show. I had to film an episode this week, just after a week from the 100th episode. Um, that's because the largest, and this is on the internet, not just me bragging, the largest rated R movie opening millions of dollars movie came out this weekend from Disney. Disney, who bought Marvel, who bought 20th Century Fox, we've collided two universes. The X-Men are back in Marvel. We've all seen this. If you haven't seen, oh, you got to. If you're a Marvel fan like me, then you've seen all the 20th Century Fox movies. You've seen all the Marvel movies, all the shitty little movies from the beginning. Damn, I remember the original Spider-Man on TV show as a little kid. I loved that shit. And, oh yeah, I'm going to be swearing a little bit in this episode because fucking Wolverine, Deadpool and Wolverine was out this week. Number one grossing. Mo <laughs> a rated R movie in the fucking world. And this is going to change the Marvel Universe. It opens up so much more. So many different directions the Marvel Cinematic Universe can go into now. The, just bringing in the multiverse when they moved uh, with Doctor Strange and all that and starting to explain that... Yeah, this is the multiverse. If you haven't watched the other Marvel movies and you're not up on your TV show, especially Loki, because I watch all the Marvel shows. I'm even re-watching the whole Netflix Marvel series. I'm, uh, I'm already up to... I'm watching them in order. I've already did Daredevil 1. Uh, then it was uh, Jessica Jones Season 1. Daredevil Season 2, and now I'm on Luke Cage Season 1. I'm watching them all be, and I, before the new Daredevil comes out on Disney because um, I watched all these originally except like the second or third seasons of stuff. That's one, you know, life got to you and well, you, you saw. If you watch the, 100, uh, the 100th to the 1st, you could see the dramatic change just in my weight, my attitude. So, yeah, I had to make some big changes to make room and balance my life correctly with the things I do love to do, like the collecting and movie watching and being an adult <laughs> when I need to. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, Deadpool Wolverine, you have to be somewhat in the... Marvel Cinematic Universe. If Loki, if you haven't seen Loki and you know about the multiverse from Doctor Strange only, then De Deadpool and Wolverine could be a little um, confusing for you. But if you're up to date on that and the 20th Century Fox movies, just all the ex the cameos alone, the Easter eggs, I I picked up on so many, and being. Uh, being a, a original Dare Deb, <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, Deadpool fan with Lady Wu's. Um, she loves Deadpool. She's got them all. They introduced the Dead Core, the Deadpool corpse in this one. We've got Kid Pool, Lady Pool, Baby Pool, um, and Dog Pool. <laughs> Lady Wu's. Once dog pool, or <laughs> check out the pictures. Um, it, it's uh, the ugliest dog in the world, I think it got the title of, and it was cute as hell. Um, you gotta go see this movie if you've never watched a Marvel movie before, at least watch this one, especially if you're an adult, and don't bring your fucking babies to it like I had to deal with with some crying little kid down there. That's ridiculous. Never took the Wooslings out to stuff like this when they were that age. Come on, people. It's a movie theater. It's not your living room. Hate people who talk in it through the way loudly. And I hate little kids that are too little to not be quiet or re be respectful. 
Teach your kids to be respectful. Just because you're not doesn't mean they have to be. Sorry, rant over. See Deadpool and Wolverine. That's all I got to say about this. It's, it's an adult movie. Lots of language. There's no nudity. Lots of violence. Lots of blood. Um, funny, funny as all hell. Laughed all the way through it as, as Lady Woos did. It is well worth it. We saw it in XD 3D. That was great. And I can't understand why Cinemark only did one showing in XD 3D. XD through the whole day, one showing with 3D, 4 p.m. At least the crowd and the people next to us were quiet. At least I couldn't hear them. It was just that damn kid down there. You hear people yell out every once in a while. Or the whole theater would burst out laughing. It, it, it's a funny movie. It's an adult movie. Um, check it out if you can. If you want to, don't listen to me. This is definitely one of my top favorite Marvel movies right now. Um, it, Like I said, it opens so much doors. If Marvel gets the rights for the Spider-Man characters and snags it away from Sony ruin it like they have been... Um, because it wasn't until Marvel got involved with the Spider-Man films where they actually got better than they were originally. Sorry, when you actually go to the creators and involve the people who wrote the stories and take from the stories and not change it to what you think. Yeah, some of it's got to change because it's not possible. It's just not physically possible. But... Changing characters, changing who they are. The, 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 I understand everybody's got to have a job. Actors got to have a jobs too. But, it, you know, play the characters the way they are and not falsely. That And that's what Netflix did with Marvel too. It, it's a shame how they certain characters were not like they are in the comic book and died even though they're still alive in the comic book. So... That could be just a whole nother universe. Who knows? Or, from what I'm understanding, it is part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and we may see some of those people jump in. We saw all the 20th Century Fox people. There's, You've got them all. you got people from the Fantastic Four movie. you got people from Daredevil movie. Um, big name actors doing a cameo. Um... What's his name? Um, Henry Calval has a cameo. You, you'll pick him up right away. He's on screen maybe for a minute or two in character, but you, you can't miss him. It was great. Just go see it. I'm going to stop because I can go on for an hour and ruin it for you, but I don't want to ruin it for anybody. This is well woes worthy. This is uh, five stars, six stars for woos movie. Um, I'll watch it again. And probably again and again and again. Like I have Aliens and Predator and everything else like that What my favorite movie. So yeah, this one has probably going to be my favorite Marvel movie right now. And I don't know. We'll see if they top it. Just look out if you've heard the announcements. The Russo brothers are coming back. Making the next two Avenger films. They did the originals. And then they got a kind of... Yeah, hopefully they'll be back. Uh, one's titled Doomsday. And there's an actor playing Dr. Doom that I didn't see coming. I knew he, Dr. Doom was coming. But this is definitely possibly alternative reality or one of the alternate verse. Not alternative. One of the multiverse Dr. Doom's not sure yet. And then we get the second movie, Secret World. Secret Wars. Um, one comes out 2006. The Wars comes out 2027. So, yeah, I got 2006. No, 2026. So, yeah. Um, yeah, just go see it. You know, I've already got tickets for Alien Romulus. Um, Trap comes out next week, and I wanted to go see that with uh, Josh Hart. Um, and we were going to go see it. Jen was going to want to go, but we were going too early for her. We like to hit the early shows because they're 
usually not as crowded and the people aren't as loud and it's nice get out after you have still the day to do stuff so um yeah but we're not going to that next week because Lady Wu's co-worker and friend is giving us free tickets for Lamb of God and Mastodon up at the Mohegan Sun. I knew the show was there. I wasn't going to go because they're playing like a full album. I've never listened to the full album. and I'll have to listen to some Mastodon before we go and I don't remember the opening band. But yeah, we're heading up there next Saturday evening. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, talking too much and too fast, um, trying to get it in, trying to save time. You'll notice with this episode, I've done something a little different too. I do have a shit ton of stuff over here to show you, um, that I picked up on, on, um, way cheap. Um, one disappointment out of them all, but it happens. We'll get to that in a second. Um, yeah, um, so... I jump around too much. Anyway, I'm doing things a little different on this show. Everything is already open. This way, I don't waste time and I'll talk a little more. Because I always do kind of rush because I go through the opening. And I figured if I if I come across something that the packaging or something was damaged on and I show you what's inside, I'll let you know like I always do in Mother fuck the other guy whoever delivered it you know like that and one of them is a packing it should have never been sent we'll get to that but yeah um alien Ra romulus we're going to see that the 27th of august borderlands comes out not next weekend the weekend after we're probably going to go see that uh, tickets are already out but I'm waiting to see if they'll play it in XD. I think they're waiting to see if they can extend the um, Deadpool and Wolverine movie. So, we'll see. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm taking a sip of water. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get to what I picked up this week. I've got some stuff I bought at BestBuy.com that was... Um, 24 hours and then 24 hours sale and uh, clearance game. I've got Midtown Comics pre order all set up so I'm not over here uh, flipping bo bo boxes and boards around. And I picked up three Marvel Corpse boxes, two pops a piece, all under $10. So to me, that's $5. Uh, Five dollars a pop if it's ten dollars so <clears throat> let's get to what I picked up I know I know I probably spent way too much of it for this it's probably gonna be a five dollar game on clearance but I picked it up for ten dollars nine ninety nine Gollum I've heard how terrible it is but you know I don't care because I like terrible things sometimes so just because they amuse me so I might get a kick out of playing it I might not but if I ever get to play in it, I'm going to try. That was BestBuy.com. I picked up two McFarlane figures that were on um, half price. They were the 24-hour sale. So one's been on my um, list, one of my lists there for a while. That's this Batman Joker gold label from the multiverse. This is Batman... White Knight. <clears throat> so I picked up him. He was twelve forty nine, and this oh, and Best Buy, awesome packing the figures this week in the game padded envelope. This not shaping around figures boxes packing, but what the literal effing fuck, man! I see this. I start peeling it off. I'm like inspected by Best Buy. And then I notice the huge fucking crack in it. Oh, God damn it. I've been waiting for this. $12.49. These are $24.99. I've been waiting for McFarland to bring back his movie Maniacs. This is one of the first that came out. And, of course, he's got a big hole in the side. So, I'm going to return this guy. Sucks, but they, they don't care. This should be, like, as far as I'm concerned, sold as an open box. It's open. 
it's not a collectible item no more. It would have to be open. Um, now I'm going to jump to the Amazon stuff and then I'll get to the Midtown. I picked up King Daredevil PX Previews Exclusive for 8 bucks. That's a no-brainer for me for an exclusive. These are usually 15 or can run up to about 20 I picked up... Um, Amazon did their Prime sale, and that's where I got most of the corpse things, and I think the Daredevil. I also picked up finally so I can finish the series. Um, I don't have seven season seven of it on Blu-ray yet, but I picked up season. This is a, a eighth and final season, which I have not watched yet. Neither has Lady Woo's. So we did finish the boys. That ended, season four, ended with a huge cliffhanger. If you're a boys fan, it was like jaw-dropping. Another adult comic movie, swearing, lots of blood, violence, not for the faint of heart. That's so good. We're up to date on House of Dragons, too. Um, and for some reason, my XD, or well, my Disney Plus account on the TV won't let me watch the next episode of The, uh, the Apocalypse. For Star Wars because there's no voices so I looked online no fixes it says sometimes on other devices it may play fine so I haven't tried that yet so I got to finish that too and then I'll start Fear of the Walking Dead uh, right we picked up well I picked up Marvel Corpse box Spider-Man blue this is not one of the ones I probably would have bought and this one was $9.99 Pennywise was I think I said twelve forty nine. So, but he's going back. He'll go back on my wish list, as I call it, and um, I'll pick him up again. That was the second time I seen him drop. But that was lower than the last. The last time I saw him, he was fourteen ninety nine. So I jumped on twelve forty nine. They probably won't give me an exchange. Um, yeah. Wow. Well, this is a medium shirt, and it may fit me sooner than later. I made my second weight gold, which is 159.0. Yep, hit it today. Um, that's my, that brings me to my max BMI. So I would go from no longer being overweight to within my weight if I can get down. So my next goal is 150. We'll see. I'm, we'll see. If I just want to get rid of the belly, something that I've had since I was in the third grade. I gained weight all through grammar school because of depression and anxiety. I started to become me, or not. I know who I was the whole time, everywhere I've been since I was little. But I had more confidence. I had connections with actual people who were compassionate shall I say the people I, I went to high school with were way different than the people I went to grammar school with let's just say that but yeah the t-shirt's pretty cool so I'm not going to show you that because I'm hoping to wear that one day we've got and that's free to me because you got the two pops so that's five dollars a pop um Mary Jane sticker face it tiger with spider web heart behind her oh a daily bugle press pin the little card and then it's telling you the next one that comes out and then we've got we got a blue spider-man and a blue gwen stacy so five bucks a piece marvel corpse exclusive i'll take them put the box over here and then we picked up the guardians of the galaxy one and this one and i actually Kept track of my prices so I can share them with you guys. Oh, sorry. Checking the list. Checking the list. Oh, this one was six bucks, six ninety nine. So there's two pops in here. So that's very good set of edge. So three fifty a pop and a t-shirt. This is size large. So this one may fit me, and I'll probably keep this one because I do fit a large now. I don't get any extra large or 2XL t-shirts now. All of them look like this. And I wore this yesterday, and yes, I washed it a 
overnight or this morning, and I had to wear it again today. Um, it's huge on me and practically falling off because I believe this is an XL or a 2XL. And it's a shame because that's pretty much the bulk of my t-shirt collection. So uh, they're all like dresses on me now. Oh, Lady Woos will take the, the rocket raccoon pin. We've got the card. Oh, and we got Adam Warlock, all gold, and that's one of the other people from his, like, I'm not even going to pronounce her name. So these were three fifty a pop. No brainer for me. Yeah, I, I could, this stuff I couldn't pass up on. Like I said, I'm not buying stuff. I'm looking in the stores, but I'm only picking up stuff on sale or clearance. I did buy the all the San Diego Funko um, pops that I wanted because those were out this week. Yeah, this week. I only spent a hundred and. I believe yeah it wasn't much this time uh, it might have been a, yeah about 120 maybe 150 I spent because I had to get one of the big ones I couldn't pass and I'm glad I didn't he sold out so I'm so excited to show that one and that should be in hopefully this week so if I can get my crap together get this episode out tonight though it's very late it's after five and I'm taking long I'm going into the 20 minute mark here. Um, so we'll move on. I believe this t shirt is a small. This box was 509. Well, this was a large too. So I think one of the t. Well, so far, I might be able to. The, the medium is the smallest one. So we'll see. I can fit in all those because I got the larges, which are cool. Sorry, hair is in my way. Um, a cheesy sticker. Card telling you the next box. Um, Chadwick, well, Black Panther, Chadwick. I don't, I don't want to try to pronounce his last name and slay it. And then we got two pops. So that's it. Basically, two fifty a pop and some change. Going to pass up. I'll add them to the collection. I'll add them to my hobby DB page. That's the rule. Next, I got comic books. These have to go in before the comics, and I have a shitload of comics up there still to load into my collection. I finally finished Gang War that was running through Spider Man. I'm catching up on that because I got Blood War coming out, which a lot of those are in here. And I'm tired of falling behind on these big stories. It, you know, <laughs> and I always do it. Um, but let's get into some comics. I'm going to grab a handful at a time. I did, um, this is in an order of 52 um, pre-orders. Pre so with Midtown Comics, like I said, I don't even need to explain how their packing is. It's glorious. Best packing job for any collectibles I've ever seen. That comp, their paper bags are around the comics, taped shut. There's a piece of paper in there with your order number and how many books are in there. So I always count to match. I've only had one time where it was short and they sent me the new one or credited me my account for the missing one. No questions asked. And I think I had a damaged one once, which they gave me a refund on too. I said, can I send it back? And I think they let me keep the damaged book. But I try not, if they're a little, but I'm talking large damage. There's always going to be little things, and I'm not getting these graded. I'm reading them too, so it's all right if it's little. All right, so I picked up, There's a. have been reading the new Thundercats, and now there's a mini series, series for Chitara. And I got a thing for Alien Women. Uh, New Space Ghost. I started to read this. I'm not sure if it follows the original Space Ghost because I remember watching the original Space Ghost as a kid, but I never watched it from the beginning to the end. It was always like reruns, so it was always out of order. Um, Army of Darkness Forever. This is um, follows after directly after the Army of Darkness movie. Um, it's been pretty cool so far. Um, they bring Ash back. 
he goes into the far future and then to the present his well his present then back to the past again it's all time travel like the other one i've been reading geiger he's one of that image uh, image comics books that was newer that i just like him it's another universe they came out with and there's other characters and books in it but they pop up in here but i had no interest in the, any of the other ones get fury i'm reading or i haven't read yet so i'll get all those together and read it ghost rider final vengeance i can finally start catching up on my ghostbuster 2 ghostbuster Spider Boy, I am up to date on him. That's uh, Bailey, who got erased from the, the timeline and then came back again. Sim Symbiote Spider Man 2099. Um, I think I read the first one so far. It, it's interesting. The current um, Transformers book from. Image is nothing like the cartoon. Nothing, nothing, nothing like the cartoon. Um, I haven't liked it. I'm going to go up to the end of this run. Well, it's not the end of the run. The end of the story, which is just U12, and then drop out. <laughs> oh, I had to pick up all the Blood Hunt tie-ins. How can I not? Vampires. Blood Hunt 4 or 5. The new Hel Helverine character. You see him in one of the new... He's introduced in the newer... I think it's Weapon X. That I, And I started reading that too, and that's cool. Uh, Jack Black... Jack Pot and Black Cat I can finally catch up on too because I'm through Gang War. Another Blood Hunt, Midnight Suns. Um, Blood Hulk. Blood Hulk. Blood Hunt, Incredible Hulk tie-in. <laughs> um, Kid Venom, number one. I think that's a one-shot. Union Jack the Ripper, Blood Hunt. Wolverine, Blood Hunt. <laughs> There's a lot of them, too. Magic, Blood Hunt. Haven't started the X-Men 97 yet. It's probably like the TV show, so I'm kind of waiting till maybe then to catch up to the TV show. So, worst case, I'll have a set of those. Um, Moon Height, Moon Knight, Blood Hunt. Um, Image started uh, doing the Universal Monsters, so um, I had to buy the Dracula one, because uh, the hardcover edition, because all the books had already come out, and the next one was Creature of the Black Lagoon, so I started getting the comics I haven't read any of those yet union jack blood hunt again another such sim symbiote spider-man 2099 oh all the um annuals this year are doing are starting with the infinity watch or it's infinity something and i believe this leads in into this so i'm going to collect all those and read those Superior Spider-Man, um, Doc Ock is back as Spider-Man, um, that's a limited series. I did start The Dark Mall, um, Black, White, and Red. I read the first one, and I liked it a lot. It was, it was pretty good. Very bloody, um, and that's what these are, the blood, the, um, yeah, maybe I'll learn to talk someday, maybe not. Depends how much my tongue trips over itself. Um, all black and white with the red, the, all the bloods in red. <clears throat> Spectacular Spider-Man uh, Men. I haven't started yet because I wasn't finished with Gang War. I think this is a new series or a, maybe a one a mini series. So I start. I'm gonna read Star Wars Inquisitors. I'm just gonna grab what's left. We got another Blood Hunt, Werewolf by Night. This is a limited series Wolverine story with Sabretooth. And Sabretooth's in the new movie. The, all of them. <laughs> I'm telling you, you see... No, I'm sorry, not all of them are in the movie. There's mid-credits 
and then there's an end credit. Now, at the end credit, it doesn't lead you to believe that there, there's going to be another movie. It's just like a fun end credit thing. But I'm sure they're going to go more with Deadpool. Yeah, if it if this becomes as big as it is with Hugh Jackman and they do more movies like they do this one, they've, they've hit a gold mine. Disney, you know, you got to grow up at some time. We're all kids at heart, but we're also grown-ups. So you make kid content, and you make grown-up content. Simple. Simple logic. But what do I know? I'm not a movie executive. <laughs> uh, Psychlock, Blood Hunt, Venom. I'm pretty current on him for the most part, but I'm way behind. Uh, what if Aliens? I'm not really enjoying this. Reiner over here, I believe his name is Reiner. He wrote it with somebody else, but yeah, I'm not digging it. I'm going to finish it, but I'm not digging it because I'm one of those ones. If I start something, I got to finish it usually. There's very few things I do not finish reading or watching. Um, and if I'm doing something, I can't not finish. Sometimes some things take me way longer than they should. But it always gets done in the end eventually. Like all the things I started before. Well, I ain't going nowhere. I don't plan to die anytime soon. I got to get all that shit done. Because it's bothering me. Um, Amazing Spider-Man. Blood Hunt tie-in with Morbus. Blood Hunters. Star Wars, which I'm very behind on. Current Thundercats, um, enjoying the story. Haven't I? Don't remember watching the Thundercats even in order, but I think I did. But I probably missed a lot of episodes as a kid. The Incredible Hulk. Oh, that is it. Is it's a all uh, the Infinity Watch crossover through all the um, and well, not all the annuals this year. Some of the big annuals, so I'm picking all of them up to read that story. Miles Morales, Spider-Man Blood Hunt. Life's, life of Wolverine. It's like a retelling of his whole life in like short order. I may read them all, I may not. I probably will because I'm that anal. Uh, Doctor Strange Blood Hunt crossover. And yeah, we're almost getting to the end, people. Blood Hunters, Black Panther, Blood Hunt, Amazing Spider-Man Annual with the Infinity Watch, Neil with Neil before Zod is another one. I I kind of enjoying it, but kind of are losing interest in it. So I'll probably go to the story arc end and then drop it. Avengers Blood Hunt, Dracula Blood Hunt. Oh, this is a variant cover. I had to get it. This is Amazing Spider-Man 53. This is the Alien versus Aliens. And I'm putting these, these other two down because I want to share this one without getting the clear terribly. All right, he's coming out of the bag. I got to show you guys this cover because and it's still going to go. Oh, no. Look at that. Spider-Man against Aliens. And they're doing um, actual, like, miniseries, like the Marvel characters versus aliens or predators. So I think, you know, I'm going to read it. I have to. I'm a huge fan of both. How can I not? You know, I got, oh, there he is. He's against Spider-Man. I get overexcited. Yeah, that's the kid at heart. Amazing Spider-Man. I can finally catch up on that because the gang war is over and finally another spectacular spider-man which i haven't started yet jeez it's been over a half an hour so i apologize for rambling on and dragging you people out um tune in next time remember to check out my hobby beat hobby db 
showcase follow it in the links I always share it at the YouTube channel as well um, like subscribe whatever you will comment negative positive I take it all words don't hurt me I got over that a long time ago um, follow me on Facebook follow me on Twitter not Twitter now ah, what's the other one the TikTok, the one that the Chinese are stealing all our information and they're going to steal our identities and download it into AI computers and make um, American slave AI robots to run their company and their country. You got to believe everything you read, you know, people. No, you don't. All right, enough of my chatting and me being a pain in your ass. This is Woo's the Collector. Check out next episode because we're going to talk about Lamb of God and Mastodon and maybe a movie or two and some more shows. But yeah, I'm going to sign off. Thanks.